G'day. In today's video, I'm tearing down a Texas Instrument CX calculator. Here's the model number. So this little bastard, they've, Texas Instrument have changed how they've put, assembled this particular model. You've got the four screws in the back here. One, two, three, four. The battery comes out with a little screw cover. But as I've been tearing it apart, it's just not popping out. It is still gripped. So what I found out is this front section here has to come off to reveal extra screws. So at the minute I've been having it on my heat, my heat pad at 75 degrees Celsius, heating up the front of the screen. So what I'm hoping to do is once I've heated it up enough, I should be able to pry it off and hopefully that adhesive becomes tacky for me to be able to do that. Previous models of these have merely had extra, uh, larger battery cover and extra screws along here. So once you've undid these screws and the four, it would fall straight out the front there. So it would go straight out. In this model, they've refi refined it. So you've got to take these two and then risk damaging your device to be able to get into it. So the reason for my actual tear down of this is to replace this broken jack that I cannot get in focus. So essentially the charger port on this is damaged and I want to get in there to repair it. So I've let it warm up for a little bit longer and I should hopefully be able to get this off without too much fuss now. Bingo. And we're off. Now I'm going to keep that this way so no dust particles land on it. I'll put that over here. Now I'll continue to take these screws out. Which, these ones I should be able to use a flat little screwdriver, but they're not quite a flat screwdriver. They kind of have a little wave kind of picture to them. Now, I do suspect there may be more screws under here. I don't know, they line up. So those two more screws are just a pain. So after much looking, I found one that should hopefully do the job for me. So it's probably gonna get a little bit bent during this process, but I don't know, they're in there relatively loosely, not super tight, just enough that you can't actually remove them. Probably almost undo this by hand. Uh, yeah, a little bit beyond hand tight. Now with that removed, are we gonna leave? Not quite. I do feel like it is a plastic tab stuck down the side here. Bingo, we are now in. So from here, if you do require to do work on the main board, you will be able to. So myself, I'm going to be replacing the charger port on here. You can also replace the screen if need be. But that will do for today. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.